up everybody um so i was talking the last video i didn't get to finish doing everything i was doing so i figured i'd make one more video um it's still it's like three in the morning usually i stay up to about 4 35 so um kind of tired though you know I just got the uh, computer fucking loaded, which it's installed now and updated. I don't really feel like messing with it anymore, though, because I'm kind of tired, you know. But I promised you guys a Bible study, and uh, I was kind of hungry, so I made a bagel. I'm going to finish eating that. I already ate half of it, which kind of tastes funny. It's apple honey bagel which is I got like the sour uh, the onion chive Philadelphia kimchi. cheese it's good it's just I don't know I'm used to eating like the onion chive you know cream cheese on you know like onion bagel or like everything bagel not a honey butter apple bagel but it's good I had to finish that and then uh Yeah, I'll read uh I'll read a Bible study. We'll go over a Bible study, then I'm probably gonna uh just crash so I can get up early. Cause I gotta I wanna get up at like seven, seven thirty. Cause it's Sabbath. It's Saturday, so um I probably won't be making a video today unless um something that's important, you know, I feel it should be um, you know, spoken about or you know seen whatever happens you know or you know if god tells me i should do a bible study i might do that you know you can see my veins are fucking this happens every night when i start drinking a lot of water and i start doing my yoga which i did a couple already which i still gotta finish which i'll be doing my videos it's insane how it does this, look. Fucking nuts. You just, it's, it blows my mind. How fucking, like, how much my body's been changing, bro. Doing this yoga shit. And it's crazy, I'm only smoking pot. I'm not doing any drugs, that's what's insane. I'm not doing fucking steroids, I'm not fucking doing heroin, I'm not smoking crack, I'm not snorting coke, I'm not fucking, I know fucking bunch of different medications, I fucking, I take naproxen here and there, which is a leave, for my fucking knee, and that's it, and I smoke pot, I might have a fucking drink or two, which I bought, I bought the, uh, I bought this, I was gonna have it, I was gonna drink it tonight, but, I'm not a drinker, man. I'm just... I don't like drinking that much. Um... But... I was thinking about having this, you know? I... Honestly, I'd probably drink half of this, and I'd be toasted, I'm telling you. And it's 100 proof, too, so... Yeah, I'd be folded. But I was gonna put in my Kool-Aid. My black cherry Kool-Aid, but I never did. I'm kinda glad I didn't. So... I like to just smoke, man. Which, I believe it's crazy, I still think it's crazy that alcohol is legal everywhere and marijuana isn't. Alcohol is way more worse than marijuana. It's terrible that marijuana is still illegal in some of these states, but they're selling liquor. You ain't gonna die coming off marijuana. You're not gonna die, you know what I mean? It's crazy, it blows my mind. But I'll be going over that uh, operating system soon. Especially once I figure it out. I gotta play with it, you know what I mean? I've never used it before. I like it so far though. Um, updating it and stuff 
it was uh it was pretty cool I had like you know like Pac-Man the game and stuff when I updated it in the terminal you know the command prompt I've been showing you guys it had little dots like Pac-Man and it had like a little Pac-Man and it was eating the little dots as it was updating so that was pretty cool and uh, the update manager, yay, Y-A-Y, is uh, different than uh, what I'm used to, which I'm used to using aptitude. Um, and I like it so far. It's more of a Unix base. It, look, it feels more like Unix, like Mac, um, which I like. I, I think I'm going to like this operating system. I do. It'd be really nice if it does everything it needed to do. And I don't run into more problems with this stupid thing. I'm not sure what was going on with it today. It isn't doing it now, so... I really think it was the operating system. why I changed it. I like it. It's all spacey, you know? And it's my favorite color. Just got that cool look. It's like gray and purple and I don't know. Way better than Windows. I've always loved Linux, so there's just something about Linux, man. It's just... I don't know what it is. It's just like... There's like an unknown factor about it. You know what I mean? I'm always learning. It's, I'm always trying to figure things out. and Like, I don't get that, that feeling, that aura, that, that kid feeling like I'm learning something new when I'm playing with Windows. I only get that feeling with Linux. I try to drink one of these a day. I fill this up with water. I boil every day. I try to drink this every day, plus water. Plus some, plus juices, plus milk, plus Fiji water, whatever, smoothies. I try to get this in every day. Even if I gotta put Kool-Aid or sugar in, it don't matter, as long as you get it down. If you're getting it down, that's what matters. So, it's important, man. Every That's another thing. I got to make sure everybody on the boat. So, I got to make sure everybody has at least one and a half quarts of water a day. So, I, I forget how many milliliters that is. It's like, I think it's like 120 milliliters or something like that, 116. So, I got to shoot for, that means I got to shoot for two so one and a half, that means I gotta shoot for twice, twice the amount. So I gotta shoot for three liters a person. So it means I gotta take an account of, you know, how many people are on my boat, which is gonna be two most of the time. But if I take on the family, I gotta make sure I plan the trip around that, you know? Um, Cause I gotta be able to, well, first of all, the, t the boat's gonna have the boat will have a water maker, so I'll be able to fill it back up. But I still want to make sure I have a big enough container to go on, you know, a, a month journey. It usually take it takes about two, three weeks to cross the Atlantic Ocean on a good, on a good, with good weather. But that's why it's also so important that the sailboat has a Volvo Penta motor, or I convert it. It's got to be diesel. Which, I'm not, I don't really want to have to convert one over. But, at the same time, it might make more sense. Because then if I convert it over, I get to install it the way I want it. Get what I'm saying? 
So there's always, you know, there's always pros and cons to everything. Which, if I buy one, with one, I'm probably gonna end up working on it anyways, you know? Or modifying it, or doing whatever I decide to do to it. Because I, I really, it has to be a diesel motor. It has to be a diesel. It has to be. Because I'm going from country to country, and not every country refines gasoline the same way. Like Brazil, Brazil don't even, they run all ethanol. Every single vehicle, every single motor, every single car, everything is ethanol. Everything is, there is no gas. Everything runs off ethanol, E85. <clears throat> so, you know, I gotta take that stuff into account. And if I have a diesel motor, I pretty much can run anything for the most part. I can run cooking grease if I really wanted to. I just gotta set the motor up to do it. Which a lot of times it's not much to do. You just gotta change out the injectors and stuff. And if I have that stuff in stock, you know, in the engine room, you know, in the bottom of the boat or wherever, you know, wherever I gotta put it, I have it on deck in a sense, on the sailboat, I'm 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 okay. Or even if it's not on the sailboat, I can, you know, go to my property, you know, a couple weeks out, go get it. That won't help if I'm in an emergency situation, but if I know I'm going to that country for a while and I know they only have that type of fuel, I'm going to grab it. So. But I'm going to smoke this and uh, do a Bible study and then I'm going to go to bed. Or get ready for bed, brush my teeth and wind down. So I mentioned, uh, I was going to read Timothy, and there's a reason why, because I read it the other day, and, uh, it hit me, man, like, I've read it many times, but it hit me really hard today, well, the other day, but I've been thinking about it a lot today, the last couple days, actually. I really like this voodoo glue. I had it, I bought it like a week ago. And I really enjoyed it, but last time I went, I bought, um, they had lemon butter, which I didn't have yet. Um, so I tried that. That was good too, but it wasn't as strong as this voodoo glue. So when I went back today, uh, or yesterday, if you want to be technical, um, I bought the Voodoo Glue again, because I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's got a good, it's got like a good front lobe head high, you know, like, like your forehead right here, like this, it's got a good high right here. And, uh, it helps, like, it gives, it helps with my headaches, you know, um, and the voodoo, this, this voodoo glue too also gives me an appetite, which I have many stomach problems, um, which I'll be going over, you know, that's what kind of forced me into my yoga and, uh, you know, this dieting. Plus, I've always wanted to sail too, you know, and I've traveled, so, you know, like my culture background and, you know, I, I'm Polish and my fiance is Mexican now, so... You know, I got, you know, my diet, my culture, my food culture, my food background is pretty diverse. Um, so that's helped, you know, with the diet thing as well. A lot, actually. Plus my, you know, my computer law knowledge and my, my analytical self, the way I think. Um, you know, I'm like, I'm a teacher person, you know, that's what I do. I love teaching, so... And I love learning, that's why I love teaching. <laughs> so, I should have been a teacher, but I don't think uh, they'd want me at the school smoking pot and then going teaching kids. 
It's just how it is, man. So, uh, the reason why I wanted to read this, man, uh, It's Timothy, man. It's called the Family of Faith, and it's Timothy five six. I might even read seven. No, it only goes to six. But there's Timothy one and Timothy two. So, but I'm not gonna keep this video long like my last two videos. I'm tired, you know. Um, but I'll go ahead and read. So this is the remix. So this is like it kind of goes over. I'll read that one second. I'm gonna read the regular uh, King James Version first because the remix kind of explains the passage. Um, so it isn't the actual passage of what the real Bible says, but it's an interpretation of it. Um, so 1753, so Timothy 1, 1753. Popping up. Here's Timothy. This is Timothy 1. No, that's Thessalonians. So Timothy 1. Alright. So now we gotta look for Timothy 5 6. Alright, Timothy 5. So I'm just gonna read chapter uh, 'm gonna read chapter six so because that's the one I wanted to read um, I mentioned chapter five or six and I just opened it up you know I wasn't for sure which one exactly it was I just know it was there that's why I took, that's why I paused for so I wanted to make sure I was going over what I wanted to go over so this says uh, let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor that the name of God and his doctrine be not be blasphemed. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them, because they are brethren, but rather do them service, because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of the benefit. These things, these things teach and exhort. If any man teaches otherwise, and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our, lead, of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, but <clears throat> doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railing, and evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men, of corrupt minds, and destitute of truth, uh, supposing that gain is godliness, from such withdraw, from such withdraw thyself. So basically, he's just saying that. You know, these people, every time you try to teach them something of anything, they they won't listen, you know. They envy and they strife, and they come up with evil surmisings, you know. They they, con they constantly say perverse things about um, good men, you know, godly men that have done nothing wrong. Um, they, constantly, they constantly make fun of them. That's what it's saying. Um... That's saying to withdraw yourself from those type of people. Don't go around those people. Um, and then it says, it says, But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. So it's basically saying, learn how, I said that in another video. It took me a long time, man, to learn how to be content with what I had. Especially food. Like, I would have food at home, but I would come up with all these justifications to go get food because I simply didn't want to eat what I already had. I wanted to eat something different um, because I was tired of, you know, eating the same thing. But I really wasn't. I was just saying that. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, I had food. So, you know, there's many nights here, you know, I learned, like... I have noodles and chicken broth, you know what I mean? But I don't want that. I wanted to go get cereal, which I went and got cereal. But, you know, I had very little food, but that was my justification. So, 
but I could have just ate the noodles. You get what I'm saying? I could have just ate the chicken noodles and been fine. Um, so that's what it's saying. Is it's it's learning. You gotta learn to be thankful for what you have. And it's very important also to uh, be thankful, like thank them constantly for everything you have. For one, you should thank them anyways, because it says right here, you know, we have brought nothing into this world, for certainly we can carry nothing out. You know, we didn't, we, he slapped us on this earth, you know. Um, so, you know, learn, it opens your heart. That's what it does. When you, when you give thanks to God, constantly it opens your heart it, it makes it open for him to come in but um yeah so it says let us be with there with content and then i'll finish it it says but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men into destruction and perdition and women too uh, for the love of money is the root of all evil which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith, and many pierce themselves too with many sorrows. So it's saying that, it's not saying that money is evil. People take it out of context. They take that scripture right there, and then they stop. They stop right there. They say, for the love of money is the root of evil. They don't continue reading. It says, which while some coveted after. So it's saying, while some some envy after it, so that means some don't. I used to envy after it, and I don't no more. It's a tool. It's a tool to teach. It's a tool to use to gain something, but I don't covet after it no more. It's saying that people that covet after the money, they lose their faith. It says right here, they have erred from the faith. That means they have lost their faith. They lose their faith in God because because the money has become the object of worship, not God. Um, that's why it's so important to spend time with God every day so that you don't forget who is master and also you don't start worshiping something that cannot help you. That dollar, that dollar isn't, it can get you food, you know what I mean? But that dollar isn't what gets you food. It's the work that you do to get the dollar that gets you food. But you can always work for something other than for a dollar. You can work for food. You can work for uh, something of value. You can work for uh, somebody to teach you something, which people pay for school all the time. You work for that. You got to pay that off. So people don't ever think, you know. But um, I'll finish. It says, But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. Um, and then he says, I give thee a charge in the sight of God, who quickeneth all things, and before Christ Jesus, who witnessed a good confession. So, I know it's itches. Um, so, he's saying that He's saying that to be be like Jesus, you know, which I'll go ahead and read the other one, the uh, remix, which is my favorite. Um, so we read, we just read six. So I'm going to read six. I'm just going to read it, okay, because um, it's just going to go, it's just going to go over what we just said. But it's going to explain it in, like, contemporary English, you know? Which, I don't know, it's different. You'll see what I'm saying. It's not, like, proper English, you know? Like, old old style English. That's why I like it. Um, it helps with uh, Bible study. Alright, so it's the same thing. Uh, you know, Timothy 6. Uh, Whoever is a slave must make the best of it, giving respect to his master so that outsiders don't blame God and are teaching for his behavior. Slaves with Christian masters are the more so. Their masters are really their beloved brothers. Then it says, uh, the lust for money. These are the things I want you to teach and preach. If you have leaders there who teach otherwise, who refuse the solid words of our master Jesus and this godly instruction, tag them for what they are. Ignorant windbags who infect the air with germs of envy, controversy, bad mouthing, suspicious rumors, Eventually, there's an epidemic of backstabbing and truth 
is but a distant memory. They think religion is a way to make a fast buck. A devout life does bring wealth, but it's the rich simplicity of being yourself before God. Since we entered the world penniless and will leave it penniless, if we have bread on the table and shoes on our feet, that's enough. But if it's only money these leaders are after, they'll self-destruct in no time. Lust for money brings trouble and nothing but trouble. Going down that path, some lose their footing in the faith completely and live to regret it bitterly ever after. And it says, running hard. But you, Timothy, man of God, which, you know, this was Saul or Paul writing to Timothy, which, you know, were, Timothy had all these men running to all these different churches, you know, delivering all these letters that he were writing um, while he was locked up. And he was this happy. And he was locked up. Tells you something. Which, I'll go over the... Uh, I'll go over um, the church to uh, of the time, you know, um, and what happened to uh, Paul and why he got beheaded. Because um, the Bible doesn't explain that. You have to do the uh, research. But I'll, read, I'll finish this. It says, it's only one more, uh, you know, paragraph or two. It says, but you, Timothy, man of God, run for your life from all of this. Pursue a righteous life, a life of wonder, faith, love, steadiness, courtesy. Run hard and fast in the faith. Seize the eternal life, the life you were called to, the life you so fervently embraced in the presence of so many witnesses. I'm charging you before the life-living God and before Christ who took his stand before a Pontius Pilate and didn't give an inch. Give this command to the letter and don't slack off. Our Master Jesus Christ, our Master Jesus Christ is on his way. He'll show up right on time, his arrival guaranteed by the blessed and undisputed ruler. High King, High God. He's the only one death can't touch. His light's so bright no one can get close. He's never been seen by human eyes. Human eyes can't take him in. Honor to him. An eternal rule. Oh yes. Tell those who it says tell those rich Tell those rich in this world's wealth to quit being so full of themselves and so obsessed with money, which is here today and gone tomorrow. Tell them to go after God, who piles on all the riches we could ever manage. To do good, to be rich in helping others, to be extravagantly generous. If to do that, they'll build a treasury, treasury that will last, gaining life that is truly life. And oh, my dear Timothy, guard the treasure you were given. Guard it with your life and avoid the talk show religion and the practice confusion of the so-called experts. People caught up in the lot of talk can miss the whole point of faith. Overwhelming grace keep you. That's it, man. That's the Bible study for tonight, fellows and ladies, uh, women and gents. Um, yeah, so, you know... So, another version, too, I have another Bible, you know, it was basically saying that, you know, in the end times, that people, people, that's what they're going to do, they're going to lust for money, they're going to be, you know, they're not going to, they're not going to respect their parents, you know, every time the parents try to teach them, they're going to do nothing but, you know, um, be, you know, be, won't listen, be spiteful, you know, make fun of them, scream at them, yell at them. You know, they're not going to listen at all, you know, they're not going to have any, any good knowledge of who God is, or any good, you know, uh, faith in anything, let alone God, you know, they're not even going to know who they are, and, and you see it, I was that person, so, um, you know, and that's why I stick up for all these Christians and stuff that work so hard, um, but you know, there's a way to do it, you know. There's definitely a different way to do it. Um, you're not supposed to cram it down people's throat. But you gotta remember too, half the people that say that stuff, listen to who they're, look at who is saying it. Look at that person. Who are they? They're not going anywhere. They haven't been anywhere. They're just saying that just to say that. They don't, you know, they don't, their fucking family didn't cram nothing down their throat. They're just lying, man. They might have had one person, like one grandma that was like religious, and because she fucking, you know, didn't sleep with 20 men and wasn't, didn't have tattoos on her body and, you know, didn't have a close relationship with this daughter, she 
thinks that, you know, she comes up with this idea of this woman and that's her reason for it, which is completely bullshit. It's stupid. It's ignorance. So, on that note, I'm going to let y'all go, though. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I wake up, you know. Uh, well, it's Saturday, though. That's right, so you probably won't see me. I'm going to be spending time alone, man, with the Lord. and I got to get stuff done, too, around the house. and No work tomorrow. No, nothing for self-gain. Nothing. So, that means I can't... Like, I can't... I can get money for food, you know, if I have to, but I can't... I can't make a profit off anybody, you know? Um, I'm not supposed to work. So that's... I won't be working, you know? Like... I'll be spending time with the Lord. I'll be reading a lot all day and doing yoga and helping people, you know, if I got to help somebody or, you know, do some healing or something, you know, for myself or, you know, for other people or pray and stuff. I spend a lot of time praying on Saturdays, like all day. It works. It works. Plus, you know, I miss these people, you know, I miss... I miss Margarita, so I pray for her constantly. I don't see her, so I pray for her all day, you know? Make sure she's okay, you know, that she's being well taken care of and that nobody is hurting her, and, you know, and that she comes home to me, you know? So, yeah, I'll see y'all later, man. Y'all have a good one, man. God bless. I'm hoping that y'all got something from this as much as I do, so... Yeah, y'all take care. God bless.